Hi, welcome to Giglet 5. Giglet 4 was the first version to feature an official sound library made by Dynamics Audio through its DMX sampler. DMX sampler was built on the Heist platform, which was powerful and sounded good, but it was somewhat complex and restrictive when it comes to importing your own samples and creating custom instruments. Additionally, the Heist platform and DMX sampler were not fully optimized for real-time use, which is critical for Giglet, because it's a real-time arranger. Loading times weren't perfect, and deeper integration with Giglet, like newly created bundles, wasn't possible. The new sampler now offers even better sound quality, far more features, and the ability for users to create their own sounds by importing samples and multi-samples, either in the open source SFZ format or directly from Korg KMP format. Transferring your sampled sounds from any keyboard to Giglet has never been easier. So why SFZ and not SF2, as many people used to SF2 being an intermediary format? Well, there are four major reasons why to use SFZ. First, SFZ is more powerful and it can hold much more information about the sound and its settings. Second, SFZ is text-based and human-readable, unlike the closed SF2 format. You can open it in any text editor and view or edit the sample map however you like. Third, converting from SF2 or any other multi-sample format to SFZ is easy and free using available converters. And ultimately, it doesn't really matter. SFZ is just a sample map format that defines how samples are mapped to the keyboard. All other instrument settings are handled in the sampler interface and only use the SFZ for import. As before, the official Giglot sound library uses programs. A program is simply a patch that contains all the instrument settings, whether it's a piano, guitar, sax, or drums. Programs should always be used either from the factory library or when you create your own sounds. Save what you created as a program and you can use it later in styles, pads and melody parts. The sampler can operate in two modes, tone instrument and drums instrument. Tone instrument mode, the sampler can have an unlimited number of layers and each layer can have its own chain of processors like amp, two filters and pitch with powerful modulators like Velocity, LFO, Keytrack, Envelopes, and more. Each layer can have one or more sample maps. If you use multiple sample maps, you can choose how they play. They can alternate in a round-robin cycle or play randomly if you have more than two. Drums instrument mode. There is only one layer, but every note acts as its own layer with its own chain of processors. Um, two filters and pitch. This is very useful for drums because a kick drum requires different settings than a snare, or you may want to place all hi-hat notes in the same exclusive group so that a closed hi-hat sample stops an open hi-hat sample from playing. Both tone and drum instruments have equalizer and compressor available at the layer and note level and globally for the entire instrument. This allows you to have different EQ and compression settings for kick, snare, toms or cymbals, or even different EQ compression for just one piano layer compared to others. The possibilities with the new sampler are virtually limitless. This is reflected in the official library made by Dynamics Audio where all sounds have been recreated with the new sampler. We also added new sounds, making the library larger and covering more music genres. That's all for now. See you in the next video where we will talk about bundles.